That civil war in Libya never seems to end. Today, the rebels began a push to seize two of the last bastions of the Gaddafi regime. Gaddafi still holds the cities of Bani Waldi, population 150,000, and Sirte, home to 100,000. Elizabeth Palmer made it to the front lines today. The rebel fighters are giving it all they've got, hoping this is the end game. The assault on Gaddafi's hometown of Sirte started 24 hours ago. Rebel forces mustered their heaviest artillery, even tanks captured from Gaddafi's army, against fierce resistance from Gaddafi loyalists who had plenty of time to dig in. By late afternoon, though, the rebels claimed they had seized Sirte's airport. But they were less successful 180 miles to the west, where hundreds of them massed near the other Gaddafi stronghold of Bani Walid. Bani Walid's been under siege for more than two weeks, and this is the closest we've ever come. We can see the outskirts on the horizon. We can hear the sounds of the battle going on in there. The rebels are making headway against Gaddafi loyalists. They say, they also say when they get in, they hope to find Saif al-Islam, Colonel Gaddafi's most influential and political son. Most fighters are convinced Bani Walid will be Saif's last stand. How many of you think Saif is in Bani That would explain the Gaddafi forces' fierce counterattack, says the unit commander Asim El Gospi, blood from his wounded men still on his face. But today, you got further in than ever before. Today was the day you made the biggest advance. Yes. But now you're pulling back. Yeah, pulling back to put the new plan. But by late afternoon, a full-scale retreat was underway. The rebels planning to regroup and brace themselves for a replay in the morning. There's no question the rebels are brave and they're motivated, but they were uh, really suffered today from the same problems that have plagued them from the very beginning. That is poor weapons and even worse leadership on the battlefield. Liz, I wonder, when was the last time we heard from Gaddafi and what's the betting on where he is? Uh, well, the last time he appeared in public was back in June. Uh, he was said to be in Tripoli in August. He's since disappeared. Uh, people close to him say chances are he's somewhere out in that desolate thousands of miles of Libyan desert where he can still find sympathetic tribal elders who will shelter him. Liz, thank you very much.